Marco, Sarge, and I are out this morning. He's running around trying to find a squirrel or whatever, you know. Sarge is all about Sarge <laughs> and what he can do. For the past, I don't know, close to two months, if not a little longer, I've been following everything about that virus or the virus. I'm telling you now, there's a lot of good information out there that will catch you up to speed on this. And uh, get a pen and paper out if you want to write it down. One is MedCram, M-E-D-C-R-A-M. That doctor on there is, is, is awesome. And he puts out some really, really good information that maybe our government isn't. So another one is 60 Minutes Australia. And uh, it'll for sure open your eyes to a lot of things and uh, how important it is to to have done early testing and aggressive testing now that we're not. And another really good one, uh, and, and he's a doctor out of the UK. His name is Dr. John Campbell, C-A-M-P-B-E-L-L. -L. And uh, I've been following him a lot. So, my main thing, people, like my mama always said, knowledge is power. Watch these videos and, and uh, come up with your own conclusion. I'm sure your conclusion will be like mine. Again, I've been following it for quite some time now. From the, as soon as it broke and, and the people in Wuha, China started leaking out their video footage and their messages, you know, about this virus. And it's not, granted the old get hit really hard, but if you know someone that has, is battling cancer, let's say, or you know somebody that has horrible diabetes, or shoot, like me, I'm probably walking around with the underlying condition I don't know about because I don't ever go to a doctor. You know what I'm saying? So I'll probably be in that 20% that would, that this virus would probably take out. That was a lot to take in. But I've already had two months to adjust to it. And uh, I sure wish love would spread as fast as this coronavirus is. Because we need to open our eyes up. And we for sure need to unite together. You know, I worry every day about my family. Because I guarantee you, if it comes knocking at any of my siblings' door... which is horrible to think about, but we're probably in that 20%. A lot of y'all are gonna be in that 20%. A lot of the people you know will be in that 20%, your best friends, you know, whomever, will be in that 20%. You know, the doctor from MedCram said like to take the US number, which is now what, just barely over a thousand, but times that, times 50 would give you a better sense of, you know, how this virus is spreading. You know, I woke up this morning, you know, of course, Collin County's report and a man from Frisco has it. You know, he didn't travel out of state. He wasn't around anybody, I mean, out of the country. He didn't, he didn't have somebody out of the country come meet him. You know, he simply went to California and then came back home and he was infected. You know, I think they reported a case this morning in Alvarado, Texas. You know, uh, I know for a fact that Austin's been doing quarantines, you know, with presumptive cases, because Lord knows we don't have enough test kits out there and that's what we need the most. The only way you can tame is by aggressive testing. I know, I've been researching, I've been following things now for quite some time. And uh, that's why I haven't been really doing any videos with Sarge because I really started researching the seriousness of this virus and where it was going and everything that I was finding out and uh, gaining knowledge in and, and was concerned about happening is happening in the U.S. because we're not, we're not stopping anything, you know. Flights from other countries still come in. We still, you know, 
air travel is still exists. You know, United States is not going to shut down, obviously, but they will have to <laughs> do a better job of containment because there's no getting control of this without aggressive testing and containment. So anyway, please look at those channels. And another one that's a really good one is Prosperity Peak. He does a really good job of reporting on, on all of it too and the numbers and, and where things are going. You know, all of this is on YouTube. You can go to Instagram and go to the coronavirus.official page on there. And <laughs> there's a lot of leaked footage and stuff on how it's going through other countries and the severity of it like Italy. But anyhow, I feel compelled to talk about this this morning because every time I watch the news and like, you know, they're trying to quarantine a part of New Rochelle. Well, I mean, that's good. It's good that you're waking up to it, but you're gonna have to do a better job even than that. A much better job of containment. Because you have to stop what's coming in and what's going out, period. That's the only way you can contain it. And the only way you know how to con do that containment is by vigorous, aggressive testing. I know a lot of y'all gonna be saying, what the hell is Lisa talking about? How does she know about this? Again, I've been following it now since, what, the end of December, 1st of January through there when it started getting leaked out from China. And again, everything that I know and was knowing then is happening here and our response is not good enough. Kind of sorry. They need to spread the love and knowledge faster than this coronavirus. Ain't that right, buddy? So please look at those YouTube pages that I put out there or the Instagram page. If you want to educate yourself on this, because I, th I think it needs to be done. Everybody needs to educate themselves on this because it is widespread. The numbers are huger than what's being reported. And with that being said, I love y'all around the world and back and to the moon and back.